Hello and welcome to the first of the two minute Moodles. Um, in this little, um, little segment I'm just going to go briefly go over what Moodle actually is, just to give it a brief overview. I'm going to help myself with this little um, mind map. Now Moodle essentially is a piece of software, I hope you can see this. Um, it is free, there's no licensing or copyright required. Um, it is also world's fastest um, growing software of its kind, also called into content management system or learning management systems. Um, I think the figures up here that you see are probably up, up, out of date already. This is in early in 2008. Um, and it's really used by learning communities just like our school or the school that I'm at. Uh, from high schools to um, universities like UCLA or large networks like Edna in Australia. Um, its major strengths are that it's very um, flexible and it's really actually easy in, uh, easy to use at the same time as being quite robust um, in its features. Uh, speaking of features, they're con constantly growing and uh, I'll be moodling for nearly a year now and um, there isn't a day go by that I probably find something new and interesting um, added to Moodle list. Um, the basic structure of Moodle is uh, is this. Now the, the, the Moodle um, site is divided into uh, the basic chunks, chunks, if you like, are called courses. Now there are three main types that most of us would probably use it um, on this side is you can have it in your you can break your this chunk or your, your course into topics, or you can break, uh, or for example, for any for some time sensitive courses, you can break them into weeks, um, or you can have a bit more social format, which is dominated sort of by forums and posts and contributions from people. Um, there are three, uh, I should say, five main um, roles um, in Moodle. The admins can pretty much, uh, as the text suggests up here, can do and see anything. I just tell kids I'm God in that, and uh, when I show them the um, how I can actually monitor the activity, they're fine with that. And it is really for to prevent cyberbullying and abuses of the system, rather than me spending um, hours of my time watching over their shoulder. Um, the next very important role is a teacher, or that is a person who is authorized to edit a course, start a course and uh, oversee a course. Uh, you can also invite, you have non-editing teachers who are there to um, uh, uh, have certain rights that they can uh, view the, uh, for example, some of the documents that others, that students can't see, um, but they but do have limited adding capacity. The most common one, uh, most role is a student, um, as people who pretty much who enroll into your course. Um, and um, there's also a guest role, which you can specify as you create the course. Uh, guests are generally allowed access, but they're not allowed to change or add anything to just sort of have a look in. Now, the, the, the core of Moodle are really the activities. Um, now, I've, I've broken these up into kind of the main four sections, but then they're not, these are not... Um, uh, mandated by Moodle. I just put them in uh, these groups to kind of make, make sense of it all. The main standard features of um, Moodle are, uh, standard activities are forum. Um, very robust, very uh, quite uh, simple to operate as well. A chat room, um, very popular with students um, to um, to, uh, to de discuss some of the te teachers at times and um, rightly so. Um, the messaging system can be a very, very effective way of actually exchanging information um, amongst the um, amongst the users. Um, and a, a non-standard -stand teacher, um, which we actually have in our site as, a, as, a, as a, an added module, is a dialogue. And this could be a teacher-student between the students, um, depending on our settings, and can be very private as well. Um, the activities, the assessment and evaluation activities, range from assignments, uh, which you can assign and have different uh, different formats to it, to quizzes or surveys or quick polls, uh, um, and through these tools like uh, scales and grades, you can very easily gather 
uh, uh, um, uh, some very, very, very quickly gather data and inform kids how they're going or where should you actually go um, if you ask them for their opinion. Now, the activities to the, the contribution and participation activities are really sort of the, 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 the heart of Moodle. And um, in Moodle, uh, there's a blog um, facility, in, which is a, another word for weblog or short, short for weblog or an online journal. Um, uh, wikis are a very, very uh, a standard feature of Moodle. Um, these are uh, collectively created documents. Uh, you may remember Wikipedia um, is created on the, on the principle of wiki. Um, already mentioned under communication tools, a forum, there's many types of it. Uh, you can have a brainstorm, um, which is sort of a non-standard feature, but we got it here. Uh, a glossary, um, you can have a mind map filter, like for this one, and so on. Um, now, Moodle can also serve as a repository of um, information um, and virtually anything digital. There you go, I'll skip straight to, the, straight to the end. So you can have any files or folders or pictures or web, uh, links to websites or learning objects, um, anything digital that you can store, um, you can actually upload in Moodle. Now, there are some upload limitations depending on the site that um, we run. Uh, at our site, the um, upload size of a file is uh, 8 megabytes, but that can be changed. Okay, philosophy of Moodle is one of constructivism. And to kind of break it down is that we learn best by doing and we learn best by sharing. Um, and what I mean, these are just some examples of what I mean by that. Um, Moodle really, activities in Moodle really encourage really authentic and meaningful work. Um, I've stated a case of participating in a forum. Uh, your work becomes obvious straight away or lack of effort becomes obvious straight away. And it really gives um, uh, perhaps uh, some of the less vocal um, literally vocal students in a class opportunity to contribute in their own space and time um, and meaningfully contribute as well and also encourage sharing uh, because you do we learn an amazing amount from sharing and engaging with teachers and, and particularly with peers and this uh, uh, um, this strengthens the, uh, the notion the, un the underpinning notion is one of constructivism uh, on, uh, on which uh, Moodle is built on um, very importantly, the kids and uh, whoever it is, the, the contributors, uh, participants in Moodle, have an audience, um, whether that be a class or a little small group or the entire school, or indeed, if it's um, available on the website, it's the entire world. So you're not just giving it to the teacher, but you're out there, which can be a little bit daunting for some kids, but um, once those um, initial fears, I suppose, are overcome, um, the benefits are seen very quickly. Um, and lastly, the communication and participation is really key to Moodle. Um, it is immediate, 24-7. It's very easily monitored. Now, in schools, that is a very important consideration because I mentioned before the issue of cyberbullying um, does rear its ugly head every now and then. Um, uh, as a teacher or as an admin, uh, you will have an opportunity to see that uh, straight away um, the, any inappropriate posts that have been made w at what time and things like that. Um, it in really encourages, uh, without even saying it, it encourages participation and self evaluation as well. Um, and once again, it's, it's just a, it, it's another way of engaging the kids and building relationships with the kids. I could provide a lot of anecdotal evidence here, but um, due to the brevity of this post, I'll keep it short. Um, and lastly, yeah, you can use it as a giant uh, digital cupboard if you like, and it's fantastic for uh, collecting and storing and disseminating information. I mean, let me just say, I've, I probably saved the forest last year by using Moodle because I had all these documents online and um, I went virtually paperless, and I think we're all grateful for it as well. Plus, the kids were able to access it from home as well. Okay, that's just a brief introduction to Moodle. Um, more two-minute Moodles to follow. Thank you.